Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party. Posted to freekeen.com by Ian Freeman. Quote Keen selected as test market for Dashback instant cryptocurrency rebates at local merchants. Portsmouth, New Hampshire based cryptocurrency merchant payment processor AnyPay has officially announced their exciting new Dashback program, and Keen was chosen as one of the test markets. What is Dashback? Imagine instant rebates on every purchase you make at an award-winning local merchants. Or at award-winning local merchants, no filling out forms, giving your personal information, or waiting weeks for the rebate. It's instant. Now stop imagining because it's real, and it's really happening in downtown Keene and the Monadnock region, and now all of New Hampshire. A local group of cryptocurrency users has launched a new blog at monadnockcrypto.com whose first post explains how this works and where the extra dash comes from. I've tested dash back in and around Keene and it's working at what I would call ridiculous levels. It's not hard to get 20% or more back on a purchase at merchants like Corner News, Local Burger, Hot Dogs, BBQ, Little Zoe's Pizza, Curry Indian Restaurant, Thirsty Owl, Lineage Vapors, and Route 101 Local Goods. Even service providers like Wilder Automotive and Dr. Drower Dentistry are accepting Dash via AnyPay's system, which means Dashback is active at those local businesses. Here's a handy map of area businesses that accept Dash as well as area Dash vending machines. Thanks to AnyPay for the awesome incentive to spend cryptocurrency at local merchants across New Hampshire. Unquote. While I'm at it, there was actually another post on freekeen.com that I should draw attention to. It's always, cause it's always nice to see people resisting the government. Uh, quote, local business owner challenges parking tickets and wins thanks to a new Keen judge. By Ian, May 25th, 2018. New Keen District Court Judge Aaron B. McIntyre smacks down prosecutor. Keen NH business owner Christopher Wade received a parking ticket when he was downtown in late 2017 and immediately when it went to the parking department in the city building to demand his right to a trial. While inside the building he received a second ticket on his car. He also immediately filed for his trial on that one. The double ticket trial was slated for early April and would involve two of the three Keen parking enforcers meaning they couldn't be on the streets victimizing other peaceful motorists if they are sitting in a courtroom. Even if Chris had lost the trials, just keeping the enforcers off the streets for a couple of hours is a win on its own. Chris entered the Keene District Court to face down the charges on April 9th and emerged victorious, with both tickets dismissed by a new judge, uh, Aaron B. McIntyre. Longtime District Court Judge Edward J. Burke is recently semi-retired and is only doing fill-in work. Chris brilliantly challenged both parking tickets on technicalities. The first ticket was thrown out by McIntyre because the location of the alleged offense was not correct, on, and the second ticket was tossed because parking enforcer Linda Des, Desrousseau lazily cited the wrong section of the city code. Many judges would have simply allowed the prosecutor to amend the tickets upon request, but McIntyre wasn't letting the prosecutor have any slack. <clears throat> the exasperated Keene police prosecutor, Eleanor Morin, upon the second dismissal, vowed she'd be filing a motion to reconsider. However, she never did, according to court records. Here's the full trial video. Unquote. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit ForkFest.Party. It's gonna be a party.